Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. everyone and welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is culture and traditions and before we get into any lessons boys and girls it's very important for us to sanitize now remember when we sanitize we are showing the world we are responsible responsible boys and girls and that we care about staying far away from coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done! For today's lesson, we will be talking about the crossword puzzle, pronouns, and likes and dislikes. Let us turn to page six. On page six, we are talking about Easter. And Easter is full of so many beautiful things, like the ones that we can see. We have a few pictures, and it will be first your job to number the pictures. So the first picture that we can see is, of course, a bar of chocolate mmm delicious and then the next one we can see under the chocolate is a flower and then after that we can see that we have an Easter egg so you will continue to number each and every picture and don't be shy to ask if you don't know what each picture is. After you have numbered the pictures, it is time for a crossword puzzle. Now the crossword puzzles are so much fun because that is when words come together and they actually become different words from different letters. Let us try and do the first, second, and third words that we can see. So the first word is the word basket. Now, if you see the number and it is going across like this, so that means our first word needs to go across. And how do you spell the word basket? Well, we have the first one is a B. So I want you to also follow in your booklet as well. So we have B and then we put our A. After that, we have our S. And then we have our K. Very good, grade threes. And then we have an E. And last but not least, we have a T. So the word basket is our first word and we know that we have to write it across. 
The next word that we're going to do is number two. And number two in our words is the word bunny. Like the one with the little bunny ears and the tail. <laughs> so we have already our B. And because it's on top, it's showing us that we are going to write it going down. So we have a B. And you're going to help me spell it. You are also going to do it in your booklets. So we have a B and a U. Then we have an N. Another N. And a Y. And we have spelled the word bunny. Now, what makes the crossword so interesting is that we use other letters to make other words. Look, number one and number two are sharing the letter B to make number one's word basket and number two's word bunny. Now, let's move on to number three. Number three has an E for us. So, we know that we are going to write a word that's starts with E. And the word today is Easter egg. So we already have our E. So now we need to put the next letters going down. So we have E, A, and then we have S. Are you following? Well done. Then we have our T, and then we have our E, and then we have an R. So, so far we have the word Easter, but we need to finish it with the word egg. So, we continue with our E, and one G in one box. And another G in another box. Now we have our word Easter egg. Can you see how we use the letter from the word basket from our number one to make the word Easter egg? Now you are going to finish this by yourselves. And remember, the pictures and the words are going to help you so that you can put them together. Take your time, ask for help if you need it, and you can move on to page 7 when you are done. Page 7 is now talking about possessive pronouns. Now, I know we have talked about pronouns before because we said a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun in a sentence. But a possessive pronoun has a different job. The job of a possessive pronoun is to show who owns the thing. So, we have some possessive pronouns just below. But before we circle any possessive pronouns, I need to show you how a pronoun becomes a possessive pronoun. Let's take a look at the board. Now, remember when we were doing pronouns, we would point to the thing or the person that we were referring to. So, the first one that we already did was pointing to yourself. So, we would say, I or me. Now, we are talking about owning something. So, if we are talking about owning something, for example, the book I have here, I can say, this is my book to show that the book belongs to me. So, the word me will change to my, my book, my truck. And then, if we are talking about a pronoun for the word you, we would be pointing to someone else. 
But now if we want to show that something belongs to that person, we change the word you to the word your. Your book, your pencil, your eraser to show that it belongs to you. And then if it is something else, maybe we are talking about a puppy or a bunny rabbit. We are going to say it's. So instead of saying it tail, we say it's tail or it's ears to show that the ears belong to the bunny. And then if we are talking about a group of people, we would point to them and say they. But if we want to show that something belongs to them, we say their, their book, their cousin, to show that they are talking about something that belongs or ownership of something. So, that is the difference between a regular pronoun and a possessive pronoun. So, now that we know the difference, let's go back into our exercise and try to answer the questions. So, the first one is saying that we must circle the possessive pronouns. Now, remember, a possessive pronoun shows ownership, what belongs to whom. So you are going to do this by yourself, but I'm going to give you the first two. The first two that I would like you to circle is the word my. My shows that it belongs to the person who is speaking. My voice, the voice belonging to that person. The next one I want you to circle is the word your your time, meaning that the time belongs to that person. So, we are going to continue and you are going to do the rest by yourself. The next part of the exercise is asking you to rewrite the sentences, including possessive pronouns with a noun. Number one says, I saw the dog that belongs to you. Let me read it again. I saw the dog that belongs to you. Now, when we are going to include our possessive pronoun, we first need to find out what is a noun that we can use. And the noun there that we are going to use is the word dog. Now, we are told that the dog belongs to you. So, instead of using you, we are going to use the word your. The word your is showing that it belongs to someone. So, the sentence says, I saw your dog. Not just any dog, your dog. Meaning the dog belongs to that person. You are going to answer number two, number three, four, five, and six by yourselves. Make sure that you include the noun and that you use a possessive pronoun. Now remember, some possessive pronouns can stand alone and they have given you examples of them. And you are going to use these standalone possessive pronouns to complete the exercise for this page. Now, the bottom exercise says, The room belongs to my sisters. This room is theirs. And you are going to continue to use these standalone possessive pronouns to complete the exercise. Take your time, point if you need to, and if you get stuck, it's okay to ask for help.
Remember, try hard to use possessive pronouns when you are speaking. That way, you'll be practicing good English. I will see you just now after our short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our next exercise, please can you turn to page 8. On page 8, we are dealing with likes and dislikes. Now, everybody has something they like and also dislike. So, our job first is to read and number the pictures. And then we will write about the children. So the first two boxes that you can see from number 1 to 12 have the activities that are happening. You are going to number the activities according to what you can see in the boxes. For example, we ride a bike. Now number 1 says ride a bike. If you take a look at the pictures, you can see that there is a boy who is riding a bike. So you are going to label that picture inside the box number one. Then number two is swimming. If you check closely, there is a group of children that are swimming. So inside that box, you are going to write a two. After you are done labeling all the pictures, it's now time to make sentences. Now remember, we are dealing with likes and dislikes. Our dislikes are going to be marked with an so when you are making your sentence, you know that this person does not like. Maybe she doesn't like, he doesn't like, or I don't like. Then you complete the sentence by saying what is happening in the picture. For example, number one. You can see there is a girl playing with a football. So the sentence, because it is marked with an X, the picture is marked with an X, we know that we don't or doesn't. We're going to use those words. So the sentence will now read, she doesn't like playing football. Where you can see a tick in the corner of the picture, that means you're going to use like. Please take your time when you're making your sentences. And don't forget to add a capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end. What are the other things you like or dislike? Can you think of any that are not here? Good. When we are done, double check your sentences and I will speak to you after this advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We've now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Now that we are done, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. Remember, 
when we sanitize, we are showing the world that we are responsible boys and girls and that we care about our people around us. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. I wonder, has anyone seen Sashi today? He has been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Hello Sashi, how are you? That's good. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>